I uh, remember you mentioning that the transport industry would be like the real engine of Caribbean growth during uh, the discussion just now. Could you elaborate on that? Certainly. Well, first of all, thank you for the invitation. I think it was a great opportunity and very timely for ECLAC to have uh, this round table. Uh, th if there is no transport, there is no trade. That's a fact. And if there is no transport, there is also no tourism. And these are really the areas that can propel growth in the region. So to me and to the ACS, if we need to solve the connectivity problem, you know, uh, saying things like, okay, we want to reduce imports and replace them with uh, exports from the region so that we can be more self-sufficient can only be done if we solve the connectivity problem first. And the connectivity problem needs to be resolved from within. We cannot let the market decide because it will never happen. The market in terms of supply, in terms of transport, will only go to wherever there is profit. So that means that if our region is so geographically dispersed and we have very low densities in terms of population and trade, the market will not provide. So we need to induce that. We need to develop alternatives where we can really bring a region, the region together to put forward an initiative or maybe a PPP for transport services. And when you um, mentioned like transport, you're, um, you mentioned something about green and blue jobs. Um, just for the layperson, what are those? <laughs> well, we're talking about green economies and blue economies. And in both cases, well, the green, of course, has to do a lot with energy and environment and blue, everything that has to do with the ocean. So maritime transport is part of the blue economy which includes not only the services, but the ports and all the related industries. If you improve maritime transport, you improve also the ancillary services that depend from, on maritime transport. And that generates a lot of blue jobs. Now, looking at energy, of course, is also the other aspect of this situation, because that will include, include the green jobs. Speaking of green, <laughs> anything, uh, and at the moment I hear green, I think of uh, the, the climate, and you mentioned um, your concern about microplastics and coral bleaching. So um, what can there be done on this, on, uh, the, on the level of ACS? Okay, th these are green jobs, by the way. Anything that will improve, you know, taking care and preserving the environment uh, generates also jobs, generates industries. Uh, when we're talking about sustainable tourism, for instance, we're looking at, at, at resorts, hotels that are not affecting the environment, making sure that they recycle, making sure that they uh, manage their waste. And all of these areas are generating green jobs because they really are aiming at, at being more friendly with the environment. So tourism is one of the pillars of the economies of the region. We want to make it a sustainable tourism zone so that we can brand ourselves to the world as being environmentally friendly and that we're really contributing to the well-being of the uh, planet. Going back to that of the transportation, um, the ACS countries are, uh, although you mentioned they're linguistically homogenous, you also, they're different countries. And they all have their, their own, um, for example, the, the air, different airlines, and I understand also perhaps different types of uh, shipping, shipping and how is this to be organized? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's exactly the point. Making sure we take advantage of our strengths and, and really mitigate our weaknesses. I mean, our strengths are already there. Many countries are already experts in many of the areas. That's why we 
mentioned the South-South uh, Cooperation Catalog. And the idea of that, of that repository is to make sure that amongst our 25 member states and 10 associates, we share the, 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 the best practices of what we do with those that don't have it. So it, it really brings together a region that is diverse, is very heterogeneous, but that doesn't mean that that is not good. It's the opposite. What we really need to make sure is that we break away from those barriers and make sure that we collaborate with each other. That's really the only way to look forward in this day and age. Multipolar world, well, multilateralism is really the tool to face that. I understand there'll be more also like legal issue, like uh, borders and so on. Um, I'm trying to visualize how how this would how would this work on a term of loss okay. and borders? First of all, we are really talking about an operational regional state. This is what was labeled in the Dr. Dukeran's book, The Caribbean on the Edge, that I mentioned in my presentation. It's 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 really coming together to solve operational problems without having to sacrifice sovereignty or without having to go away from our legal frameworks. Operational issues, and I'll give you an example. When we talk about digitalization, and we were talking about processes, you know, you can facilitate trade through processes in a digital environment without having to affect the sovereignty of the countries. True. You know, moving cargo across borders, moving uh, passengers across borders can be dealt with through operational solutions that include digital transformation. And, and that is happening already. I mean, whenever you go to a country and you present your passport, it is all, all, all countries are now interconnected. So your passport is being read by a digital machine that is already understanding where you're coming from, where you're going to, where you've been. That is what I mean when we don't really need to break away our sovereignties by, by facilitating trade through processes and through digital transformation. So that a good that is leaving one country doesn't have to stop through bureaucratic processes and regulations because it can actually flow from one country to the other in a digital platform.